All right. You know, boys, let's be honest. Let's be honest about things here. Anything women can do, we can do better. The only exception to that is giving birth to children. We can't do that. Despite what some people think, men cannot give birth to babies. But anything women can do, we can do better. That includes being stupid. Women can be stupid, believe, drunk, yep. But men, men can still do it better. Because women, they have their love pink. Oh, we love pink. I have pink. I wear my pink, my pink shirt. It says pink on it because I'm not smart enough to know what color the pink shirt is. And I have my little booty shorts that say pink, except they're not little booty shorts. They're giant booty shorts because you're really fat like most white women from America. And so it's pink. Well, men have their own version of love pink, and it's called the red pill. Red pill is how we fucking sell things to stupid people. Men who think that they are men, even though they can't define what a high-value man is, these men are easily manipulated by just slapping red pill on anything. And that's why today we're going to have a look at redpillring.com. Somebody left a comment over on the website. I think it was Shrugologist. I, I'm on the internet right now. I could go look, but that would involve effort. He said that maybe Rolo should sell red pill do-rags for your head. That's actually a great idea. I've, I am contemplating if I, sh if I should buy the domain name Red Pill Do Rag and then just sell handkerchiefs for like $50 each that you can tie around your head. I'm kind of serious about this, guys. We go through this website. See, now this is another one of those moments. As we go through this, you guys let me know is this satire? Is this website a joke? Because I would do red pill do rags, except I would actually sell do rags for like fifty dollars. Because if someone's dumb enough to buy that, I would do it. So you guys tell me, is this real, or is this a joke? So here, here it is, guys. This is redpillring.com. Now, does that ring not look like it came out of a bubblegum machine to you? Here we go. Here's look. Oh, we got we got red pill pride polo shirts. Guys, red pill pride. Do we know anybody else that has pride? The clarity of mind warrior ring. The black pill. Warrior ring. Look at this. There's a little MGTO symbol. Red pill rings can now be seen all over North America, Europe, Asia, and even the Middle East. It is, a tr it is truly a worldwide brotherhood comprised of all races, creeds, religions, and nationalities. Guys, they have diversity. The red pillars have diversities. Red pill rings, one word. Red pill rings, one word. It's one word. Red pill rings are a symbol of pride. Society tries to shame men who try to who choose to live their lives alone in peace and pride is the best counter to any attempt to shame. The rings are also the rings are also a subtle sign for like-minded men to identify each other. If you want to read a short introduction of how redpillrings.com came about, push the button link below. Let's push. Should we push the button link, guys? Do we want to push the button link? Why rings? 
From the dawn of civilization, wealthy and powerful men wore rings to symbolize their authority and associations. Is that why they wore them? Maybe so. I don't know. The modern men who choose to live their lives alone in peace. Yeah, you're alone because you can't get any girls. All right? Because you're a fucking loser. Nobody wants to hang out with you because you're a fucking dork. They won't compromise or waste their lives on people who don't really care. You don't care. <sighs> Red Pillar Redemption. Dude, look at those dark those fucking hairs, man. Do something about those hairs. Many men hold on to or just throw away old wedding rings and other jewelry that once had sentimental value. They are symbols of betrayal and slavery, but men don't know what to do with them. Redeem these symbols of destruction and get a symbol that you are now standing tall and strong. So those are marketing to men who have been divorce raped. So since you're paying alimony, you should be saving your money and not buying jewelry. Because you're not that strong, because if you were strong, you wouldn't have got divorced raped. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. You are a red pillar. If you are interested, please send me a message in the contact section. Send you a message about what? All right, so I found this website, and I'm looking at this. And where, where, where do I even start? Which, oh, which finger? Let's do which finger. On which finger? On which finger to I wear my ring? Okay, guys, did you have anyone proofread your website for you? And this, here's my first piece of evidence that the people, hold on, about. About, is there a picture? Okay, there's no picture of the so-called men that run this website. So here's my first assumption about the men who are running this website. And again, guys, is this satire? Let me know what you think. Or is this real? I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say these guys don't have any female friends. And I, men and women can't be friends. Okay, they don't know any women. Because if you know any women, you have a website, you go to a woman and you say, hey, would you go proofread my website? Because women are really good at things like proofreading. Because proofreading translates into finding other people's mistakes. And women, while they're not as good at it as men are, because women are not as good at anything as men are, other than making babies, women are not as good at finding other people's mistakes as men are, but women are really good at finding other people's mistakes. On which finger to I wear my ring? Each finger has its own tale to tell. Guys, its own tale. Like a dog or a cat has a tail. It has its own tail. Not tail. T-A-L-E, like Tales of Sinbad. Sinbad. I said Sim. Sin. Here's the question. Is this satire? And I'm not smart enough to know it. Or are the guys who did this website actually this stupid? Or are the guys who did this website actually selling these rings, but then laughing at the people who are dumb enough to buy them? Many women have complimented me on my red pill rings. And we'll always ask, what does it mean? By many women have complimented him on his rings and ask what it means. What he means is this has never happened. This is right up there when women go, a man came up to me and he told me to smile. 
No, no, he didn't. Because that's never happened. No woman has ever complimented your ring, and no woman has sure as fuck ever asked you, what does it mean? Now, listen to this. I usually answer, I am my own man, and nobody owns me, unquote. They love the alpha sound of that explanation. This guy thinks he's an alpha. They love the alpha sound of that explanation without realizing that I've told them that they have no chance of getting my resources or resource earning potential. My resources! My resources! Okay, look, guys, god damn it. Is this a fucking satire? They, <coughs> they have no chance of getting my resources. Look, I'm all about my fucking resources, but now we're going too fucking far. This is, this is, this, is this parody? Is this satire? Is he this fucking stupid? I've told this woman who asked me this question that no woman's ever actually asked me in life that I'm so amazingly alpha that she has no chance of getting my resources. Okay, listen up, you fucking moron. If, if you are anywhere near as alpha as you think you are, then you have something resembling a job. Now, it might be at Walmart, but you have some kind of a job. And if you have a job, you're doing this thing called paying taxes. And the government is taking your tax money and redistributing it to single mothers, including the woman who theoretically is asking you what your ring means. Okay? So when you sit here and you make this assertion that I'm so alpha, no woman is going to get access to my resources... Listen to me, you fucking moron. Every woman in the United States, not to mention every woman in Israel, and currently every woman in the Ukraine, is getting a chunk of your fucking resources because the federal government of the United States is redistributing your fucking money. Have you ever heard of inflation? You ever heard of quantitative easing? You ever heard of money printer go burr? You ever heard of every time a bank makes a loan, it invents money out of nowhere, which drives down the value of your money? What the fuck are you talking about? Every goddamn woman in North America is getting a chunk of your fucking resources, you goddamn ignoramus fucking retard. You are a fucking dumb shit. On which finger do I wear my ring? Each finger has its own tail to wag. I can't fucking figure it out. But apart from the meaning of the ring itself, the symbolic meaning of the ring changes with the finger you wear it on. Yes, if you wear the ring on any of your fingers, you're a fucking fag. If you wear it on your thumb, you're also a fag. As I explained in my previous podcast, men do not wear jewelry because men are working around moving equipment. Men are working around heavy objects. Men are picking things up and carrying them. Men do not wear jewelry because jewelry Jewelry gets crushed. It gets damaged. It gets caught. You can ring, your fucking ring could get caught in a piece of machinery and suck your hand into it and rip your fucking hand off. Okay, wearing rings is not a sign of luxury and what? Well, maybe luxury. Whatever the fuck it was back here on the home, wearing a ring is an indicator that you don't fucking do any work. It's just like when women have those really long ass fucking perfect fingernails. That's an indicator they don't do any work. 
They're not doing any form of manual labor whatsoever. Index finger, ring of power. Ooh, power. The index or pointing finger is the finger upon which important men like kings and ambassadors wore their rings of office or family rings. It was the ring that would be kissed. Those of us who are actual alphas wouldn't know anything about kissing rings. Well, great when people kiss my ring. That's great. You've got people slobbering on your hand. Okay? When I become dictator of the United States, nobody's going to kiss my ring. I don't want you slobbering on my fucking hand. Take your goddamn germs and go someplace else. When holding a weapon such as a sword, the ring was closest to the blade and so closest to the enemy. It therefore symbolized strength and courage. I think we're making this up. When pointing or directing, the symbol of power and authority was on that pointing finger, so symbolized the power bedding the direction. When pointing or directing, this symbol of power and authority was on that pointing finger, so symbolized the power bedding the direction. The power bedding the direction. We're going to bed the direction, guys. I am so alpha that I am going to bed the direction. In the movie Lord of the Rings, the Dark Lord Siren wore the ring of power on his finger, as did Frodo, other holders of the ring. There is, so now we're getting our stuff from Lord of the Rings. The ring symbolizes power, and so the red sphere is power over his own life. You still pay taxes. You have no power over your own life. Oh, look. Here's a fucking guy with a beard and sunglasses giving the middle finger. Wow, he's so alpha. This is so fucking alpha. Middle finger, ring of defiance. This finger speaks for itself. I mean, we're doing like grade school level humor here. It's the middle finger. It speaks, it speaks for itself. Displaying the middle finger has long been a sign of defiance and contempt. Has it really? Because I'm pretty sure giving the middle finger is just North America. If you go to other countries, they use different symbols. Right? Like in England, I know... The V one way is victory, but the other way it's fuck you. And I used to know what it was in the Middle East, but now I've forgotten. It's something we do over here. Is it the okay thing? Is that what's the... F I can't remember for sure. But anyhow, so also I'm pretty sure you're making that up. Okay, here we go. Refusing to enter into a committed romantic relationship in a society V believes men have a duty to do so is an act of defiance. This is what? Typo number four that we found? Are you sure you're refusing to enter into a committed romantic relationship? See, I kind of want a, a tangent on this, but I also kind of want to save this. You don't know what this is because I haven't told you yet. When I go back to making fun of Rolo and the red pill some more, because this is a little bit more just me ridiculing this website, whereas what I'm going to say about sentences like this, refusing to enter into a committed romantic relationship in a society that believes men have a duty to do so as an act of defiance, I got a lot to say about sentences like that because they're massively wrong. And I'm not just going to tell you they're wrong. I'm going to prove to you they're wrong. I'm going to explain exactly why they're wrong. And you're either going to agree with me or you're going to be wrong. And most of you are going to agree with me because I'm right. So you know what? We're not going to tangent. I'm going to hold into that because I want to do that in a slightly more intellectual way than I'm doing this podcast slash video because this is just me having fun. 
many men therefore believe, because they have no evidence, remember if you believe in something, it's because you have no evidence, many men therefore believe that this is the natural finger on which to wear a red pill ring. Modern society looks with suspicion and anger upon men who refuse to commit. But historically, these men were honored. Really, they were, hermits and monks existed all around the globe and throughout history. These men were revered and considered wise and strong. By who? By their children? Oh, they didn't have any children! Oh! Commitment also no longer means what it used to mean. Well, he's not wrong about that. With over half of all marriages ending in divorce and women filing for over 80% of these divorces, the very concept of commitment no longer has the same meaning. Well, that's true. Men who reject committed relationships are therefore showing contempt, contempt of and defiance to a social paradigm the devalues men and devalues honor. That's typo number five. Ring finger, ring of ownership. This is the finger that society, I like how he suddenly just arbitrarily changed fonts. This is the finger that society has reserved for the wedding ring. When asked what the ring means to the wearer, men will usually say that it symbolizes his commitment to his wife. A woman will usually say that it symbolizes her com husband's commitment to her. <laughs> All right, that's true. <laughs> that's funny. That's actually funny. All right, that's a good one. I right, you get points for that. That's funny. This general attitude is also found in the relative expense of the rings. Yes, a man is supposed to spend three months' salary for the engagement ring. In exchange, the woman gives him nothing. Yeah, that's true. I, you know, and just anything we're going to say about marriage, yeah, wedding rings are stupid. Okay? Regardless of any time you hear me talking about marriage in any kind of positive way, and you know, blah, 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 wedding rings are stupid. End of discussion. The man is then supposed to buy an expensive wedding ring to match the engagement ring while the woman buys the man a simple band. That's typo number six. When considering this, a man should imagine the image of a slave and master. The slave's labor It's not possessive because we don't want to write slaves possessively because that would be racist or something. Notice that we're talking about slaves and there's a picture of a black man's hand over here. Okay, is this site serious or is this satire? Do you guys see what I'm saying? I can't tell. Black, hand, slaves, labor. Not slaves apostrophe S. The slave doesn't loan the S. The slave doesn't own the labor, which I guess slaves don't own their own labor. Their masters own the labor. The slaves? Oh, is that what we say? The slaves is in plural. Oh, okay, I got it. I got that. That one's not a typo. The slave's labor helps the master to buy beautiful clothing while the master gives the slaves rags in return. Well, no, he's not talking about plural slaves. He's talking about a singular slave. This should be a fucking apostrophe. This should be possessive. That's another typo. You're welcome. See how good I am at doing this? A woman could do this, but a woman can't do this as good as I can. By wearing a red pill ring on this finger, the man is declaring that his heart, mind, money, because we don't understand taxation, are not open for exploitation. Really? Your, your mind is not open for exploitation. Do you believe advertising? Did you get woo-faxed? Do you think that Ukraine is going to win the war against Russia? Do you believe in global warming? Did you buy one of these rings? 
If you can answer yes to any of those, I submit that your mind is absolutely open to exploitation. He is his own man and no one owns him. No, your government owns you. If you don't think your government owns you, well, at least in North America, if you don't think the government owns you, try getting a job without having a social security number. Try getting a job without paying taxes. Try starting a business without getting a license, otherwise known as permission, from the government. You are owned by the government. The government is controlled by Jews. You are owned by Jews. You're welcome. And honestly, if a woman sees a ring on your ring finger, she's not going to ask you any questions. She's just going to assume it's a wedding ring. In this case, she's going to assume it's a ugly wedding ring. Notice how the black hand is wearing a ring that has a black stone. By stone, I mean piece of plastic. I don't think that's a real stone. I'm, I'm, guys, is this satire or is this real? I can't tell. Pinky, the ring of confidence. No, that's the ring of flaming homosexuality. I mean, the ring. That's the finger of flaming homosexuality. When you got the ring on your pinky, you're not just saying, I'm a homosexual. You're saying, I am a flaming homosexual and I am a bottom. A man's hand is the symbol of his strength. The pinky is the smallest and weakest of the fingers. And so wearing a ring on this finger is a show of confidence. Even my weakness is strength. Oh, you are so alpha. These guys are so alpha. Guys, is the alpha. This, this website is just reeking alpha. The pinky ring is an understated display of elegance. It harkens back to the golden age of Hollywood when men like Cary Grant, Douglas Fairbanks, and Errol Flynn defined men's fashion. They were strong and self-assured. They were the alpha males that women chased. Today, the pinky ring has fallen out of fashion with heterosexual people and are... <laughs> never. To, wait, today the pinky ring has fallen out of fashion and are discouraged by fashion gurus. They are, the pinky ring are discouraged. It makes sense that this ring is discouraged. Its message, its, where's the apostrophe? That's possessive. We're at what, typo number seven or eight now? I've already lost count. I should have been making hash marks. It makes sense that this ring is discouraged. Its message does not fit well with a society that wants to shame and belittle men. There's a lot of shaming and belittle. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't think you actually know anything about being a man. We also, here's, so here's our website. Oh my God, it's on Wix. What a piece. So here's their Facebook link, which just goes to Facebook. Oh, well, they actually, no, it's linking not to their shit. It's linking to fi uh, Wix's social media. Never mind. <clears throat> Wix. What a piece of All right. Why rings? Let's find out why rings, guys. Why rings? Look at this mountain. Oh, mountain. Oh, I go mountain climbing with a, I go mountain climbing in the cold with a piece of metal around my finger because the metal won't get cold and give me frostbite or restrict the circulation in my finger or anything like that. Right, there, there's nothing manly about wearing jewelry, guys. It's it's not. What is this shit? These aren't links. What what, what is this? What is what is this? It, it's it's. Dude, they just got the Wix template and they threw some shit in here and they did a really poor job. Why rings? A subtle statement of pride. You got a lot of pride going on for these alpha males got a lot of pride and brotherhood 
a man's, at least we got the possessive apostrophe in this one, a man's had is the symbol of his strength and wealth-producing capacity. A man's had is also not a symbol of his ability to proofread his website. Historically, didn't we read this already? Historically, men wore rings. Look at historic photographs and, and paintings of kings, ambassadors, and generals. You'll see them wearing beautiful rings. This continued well into the 20th century. Generals of World War II. Yeah. Oh, man, these people love to idolize World War II. Don't get me wrong. The guys in World War II, they, there's some badass shit. You know, General Patton was a hell of a fucking guy. Okay? But just the, ah, I'm going to put on a ring and pretend that I'm General Patton. No, General Patton may or may not have worn a ring. I don't know. I know he had pearl handle revolvers. But if you go get some pearl handle revolvers, you're not General Patton. You're still just a homosexual. Sorry, closeted homosexual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as a celebration of masculine, as the celebration of masculinity declined because, you know, men started becoming effeminate, men became more casual, they stopped dressing with authority, and they stopped decorating their fingers. Men do not decorate their fingers. Most men wanted to be cogs in a corporate wheel, kind of like you are. All right, anyhow, uh, blah, blah, blah. Rings, rings that celebrated a man's strength and independence were relegated to bad boys, such as bikers and criminals. Zoom! Vroom, 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 vroom. Red pill ring, symbol of strength, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> red pill ring. I love how red pill is sometimes one word, sometimes two words. Guys, again, be consistent. Pick one or the other, right? And be consistent. Do, do you guys have any copywriting skills whatsoever? Do you have any writing skills at all? It doesn't look like it. You know, once again, this kind of reminds me of single mothers. They're all strong and independent, but they actually can't accomplish much of anything. These guys are they're alphas. But they can't figure out if red pill is one word or two words. Make a fucking decision. Is red pill one pill? With one pill. Is red pill one word or is it two words? And then be consistent. You can't even fucking pull that off. Once again, he does not want to harm anyone or rule over anyone, but he will not allow anyone to rule over him. Where's the period at the end of your sentence? And yes, there is someone who rules over you. It's called the government. It's called the state. They can pull you over. A female cop can take potentially hundreds of dollars of your money away from you if you drive 12 miles over the speed limit. Yes, there are other people who rule over you. About the Red Pill Brothers. The Red Pill Brothers, guys. It's Red Pill Brothers. Since beginning redpillring.com, I have discovered the the brotherhood is made up the the brotherhood. I have discovered the the brotherhood is made up of the the more thoughtful, caring, and considerate human beings that I have ever met. Is made up of the more thoughtful, caring, and considerate human beings I have ever met. You know, I've read better writing that has been more well proofread in the fucking CSU Collegian written by little 19-year-old girls who are majoring in journalism. This guy thinks he's an alpha. I have dealt with men, I doubt it. I have dealt with men from across North America, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East because I am a big believer in diversity. In 
every case, these men were a pleasure to work with. You have never worked in your life and were more concerned with honesty than getting the best of someone. Dude, you haven't been honest with anyone on this entire web page. You think no one controls you and that women don't get your resources. Most of all, you're not being honest with yourself. See, this is all just marketing. This is like, once again, you slap the word pink on a piece of clothes and women will pay $80 for it. It's a t-shirt that says pink. And you can get a woman to pay 80 bucks for that because they're dumb. These are bubble, we haven't got to the rings yet. These are like bubble gum rings that people are paying $200 for because they're dumb. And you say, but great one. How long have you been saying on your podcast that, well, the reason stupid people have money is so smart people could take it away from them? Oh, you're right. And there are some stupid people potentially giving up some money to the guy who did this website and didn't proofread any of it and didn't ask any girls to proofread it for him because he doesn't know any girls. I have only had a few instances wherein we did not find a happy solution to a problem. If you've only had a few instances in your life where you didn't find a happy solution to a problem, then I would submit that, number one, you don't understand solutions don't have emotions. There are no happy solutions. But number two, I submit you're not doing very much. I got all kinds of problems that I don't have a solution to, period, much less a happy solution. However, in one of these instances, so I think what he's trying to say here is he doesn't have a lot of personality conflicts with these other men. So in other words, you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of yes men. You're surrounding yourself with people who think just like you. And you're not coming into conflict, conflict with them. If you're not coming into conflict with other people, you're not doing anything. However, in one of these instances, a man sent me an apology and purchased a second ring. So you like, had an argument about buying rings? What? What? In another case, about a year after the transaction was complete, the brother sent me a gift of some vintage silver coins with a note that I had given him something of great value and he wanted to give me something in return. I was truly touched. I bet you were touched. So in other words, when he says, I've dealt with men from across North America, blah, 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 what he's saying is he sold them rings through the internet. It's not like he met some guy from North America and a guy from Europe and a guy from Asia and a guy from the Middle East and they went out onto an offshore oil rig and drilled for oil. Right? They're not doing manly things. They didn't go climbing a mountain together. These men that he has dealt with are people who are contacting him on the internet and buying his bubblegum rings. In only one case did I not reach a happy solution. The man was extremely angry even after I immediately refunded his money. See, this is what he's, he's talking about. He sold things to people. When someone says to you, I've dealt with men from around the world, right? You think, oh, you've dealt with men around the world. Like you, you've worked side by side with men around the world doing something, you know, building houses, sailing the ocean, exploring Africa, climbing mountains. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about people came to the website and ordered a ring and typed in their credit card number.
I spoke with some Red Pill Brothers. Red Pill Brothers. It's so gay. This is so gay. I spoke with some Red Pill Brothers, and we concluded that he was still caught in the midst of red pill rage. Now red pill is two words and pill is capitalized. And like many of us, had been so abused that he saw every little problem as an attempt to hurt him. He could not yet conceive of a brotherhood wherein men truly cared for each other. You know, like the Red Pill Manosphere Brotherhood, of which Anthony Dream Johnson is the president, where he runs around character assassinating everybody. Say, great one, aren't you character assassinating Rolo Tomasi? Yes, but I don't claim to be the president of the Manosphere. And furthermore, I've never been Rolo's friend. The world wants to shame men. No, beta male men who won't tell their women to shut the fuck up and control their bitches. And therefore, those men and the women who are not being controlled want to share shame men. The world wants to shame men who choose to live their lives alone in peace. But it is truly a brotherhood that one should be proud to join. I thank my brothers for their support. Then we can get information about where we're going to wear our ring by clicking below. All right, this is not a well-organized website. We're going to skip shop for the moment. About. About. Redpillring.com. Red Pill Rings. Now Red Pill is one word again. Red pill rings are the idea of man who, like far too many men, suffered from suicidal depression after losing his family in a divorce. Red pill rings are the idea of man who, like far too many men, suffered from suicidal depression after losing his family in a divorce. Do you mean red pill rings are the idea of a man? As in, you're the man who lost your family after a divorce and you came up with the idea of red pill rings? Or do you mean red pill rings are the idea of a man as in the sense that red pill rings symbolize and idealize men who get divorce raped. Do you understand how to communicate thoughts in the English language? I am going to go out on a limb and say you do not. When you're trying to sell people stuff, I'm, I could be wrong, guys, but I'm going to say if you're trying to sell people things, you should put a little more effort into conveying your thoughts through the written word on your website. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the people who buy these rings really aren't smart enough to actually read any of this. He had dedicated his life to his family, and now they were gone. He had dedicated his life, past tense, to his family, and now, that's present tense, they are gone. Present tense. We've gone from past tense to present tense. You don't go past to present back to past. He had dedicated his life to his family, and now they were gone. Now they are gone. You know, as much as we make fun of English teachers in high school, apparently this guy did not pay any attention to the English teacher at all. And I I will admit, your high school English teacher is only deserving of so much attention. But goddamn. 
while looking, researching divorce on the internet. While looking, researching divorce on the internet. Okay, hold on. Is this real or satire? No, 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 no. Or should I? Should I? this website real or satire <clears throat> while looking researching divorce on the internet he ran across some sites that promoted a new philosophy of life for men a life wherein a man concentrates his energies on making the most of his life rather than sacrificing it for some woman. So in other words, to, to come dangerously close to tangenting and talking about things I said I didn't want to talk about, in other words, he shifts the focus of his life to making money so he can pay more taxes so that he can support via distribution of wealth more welfare recipients and single mothers. The men promoting this lifestyle described the destruction that our modern concept of marriage and commitment brings to men. He, uh, that's a period, so that should be capital H on the he, he was a lawyer and knew, he knew that over 50% of all marriages ended in divorce. He knew this. It was a new piece of information. He didn't know it in his brain. It was, a, it was like a new car. He knew that over 50% of all marriages is in divorce. But he did not know that women initiate 80 to 90% of divorces. We got a lot of st statistics here without any citations. As he listened to the stories, B began to realize, not he, so he's gender fluid. Well, how, what are your pronouns? My pronouns are B and Ben, not he and him. So B began to realize that he was not alone. No, his homosexual lover was in the room with him. A large percentage of men were suffering from the exact same problems. He began to look back on his life and career. I mean, if you want to call that a life. The legal brainwashing faded away and suddenly he could see patterns as well as a clear cause and effect. Really? Really? So you're telling me that you noticed the Jews? You noticed that white women need to be told to shut up? Did you really? You noticed these things. Did you, did you notice that diversity plus proximity equals war? Did you figure any of this out? Did you notice these things? I'm going to take a wild fucking guess and say that no, you didn't pick up on any of this. When the law rewards destructive behavior, such as BLM riots, people will be more likely to participate in bad behavior. Moreover, as the law rewards destructive behavior, people will come to believe that the destructive behavior is good. People will call evil good. Well, he's right about this, and he's actually an example of it. Also, having a degree in business and economics, okay, so the guy's got a worthless diploma and how much student loan debt? <laughs> 
His eyes opened to one simple and undeniable fact. Ooh, I wonder if we're coming to the Jews sometime soon. If any company developed a product and for 60 years sold 80, 90, 80 to 90% of that product to women, only a fool would not realize that this product was developed and marketed to women. But somehow people believe that the legal industry is neutral in divorce. We have been trained to believe that destructive behavior is good and we are surprised when we experience destruction in our lives. The men who reject committed relationships are therefore not rejecting the historic concepts of commitment, but the modern perversion of that concept. That's, that's not necessarily wrong. The philosophy of living One's life alone. We got the possessive apostrophe this time. Good job. The philosophy of living one's life alone in peace is therefore not a philosophy of hate, but of respect. A man learns to respect himself enough not to get involved in a system designed for destruction. But you pay taxes, which is used to drop bombs on other countries. So yes, you're still involved in a system designed for destruction. In learning that his own life has intrinsic value, he realizes that all men's lives have intrinsic value. I mean, he's not wrong about that. The philosophy is building a brotherhood of mutual respect. Whereas this brotherhood saved his life, he wanted to do his part to promote it. Because we are reclaiming ancient values, he thought of an ancient symbol of power, authority, and fraternal affiliation. He thought of Lord of the Rings. The ring is a symbol of a man's strength, power over his own life. He thought of the Masons. A man who chooses to live his life alone in peace can feel isolated, but who is to say that man is not among others with similar beliefs? A ring is a subtle sign that men of like beliefs can recognize. So he is talking about himself. This is not a theoretical thing. All right. How do I size? How do I size? my? Is there anything funny here? So we didn't finish our template. This is your item description. Use this space to add a description of the services. This is like whenever you see somebody at the WordPress website and they've got the comment on there that says, Hello World. That is the default comment that WordPress put. Guy, come on, man. Come on. I mean, how red pill, how alpha can you fucking be, man? Your website's not that extensive. Look how long it's taken me to go through your website and fucking proofread it. I should send this fucker a bill. If he responds to that message I left, I am going to send him a link to the video and I'm going to say, I proofread your fucking website. You owe me 500 bucks. Go fix your fucking errors. Be, try to be as alpha as you think you are. Contact. How can we help? You can proofread your website. Forum. Is there really a forum? Is the... This could be hilarious. Venting frustrations. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh. You know, I'm actually kind of glad it's not open because I, I, we might, yeah, it might be bad. We could be here way too long. All right, let's go shopping. Red pill pride polo shirts. I'm I'm dying. I'm dying. The defiance ring, the king's ring, pride in gold. There's a lot of use of the word pride. Red pill warrior. Dun dun dun. The clarity of mind. The black pill. Warrior ring. All right. So anyway, the first time I looked at this website, the first one I clicked on is the Black Pill Warrior Ring. Let's go check this out. This is this is funny. Come on, come on. There we go. Seriously, I mean that's also a shitty. Like, okay, dude, can can you speaking speaking as a professional photographer? Could you hire a fucking photographer? This grainy, as fucking shitty looking cell phone photo? Dude, once again, hey, dude, listen to me. Dimwit. If this is a real website, 
Send me these fucking rings. I'm going to send them back because I'm not wearing this. But I could do, you have to pay for this. I could do some real product photography of the fucking rings that actually make them look as good as a piece of plastic can look. What is this shit? This is some cell phone shit. I mean, once again, this is like a fucking woman's, woman's Etsy shop or some shit. I mean, that's terrible. This is this at least is an attempt at some good photography. But dude, look at the fucking cropping on this. Look at the fucking angle. Fucking straighten the camera up. All your light's coming from one goddamn direction. There's Jaisha. You need fucking bi-directional light. At least, God damn it. This fucking just hurts me as a photographer. $275. The, the Black Pill Warrior Ring was first produced as a special order. I liked it so much that I offered it as a standard product. Ring became blah, 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 blah. Bulk order the stones, you mean the plastic. 16 gram, pure silver. Yeah, some, if I accept payments that fit in there, fit into their monthly budgets. So these, the, all right, guys, God damn it! God fucking damn it. This is what I'm talking about. These people, they're all posers. These alphas, these high value men, they're a fucking joke. Some brothers have asked if I would accept payments as this would fit better into their monthly budgets. Guys, it's $275. In the room I am sitting in right now, I have $1,500 in cash right there. In the room over there, I have another $1,500 in fucking cash. If you do not have 275 fucking dollars to just pay for the goddamn ring and walk away with it, you are not alpha. You are not high value. You are not creating value for other people. You are not a man. You do not have a job. 275 fucking dollars. People need four payments. These high value alphas who are buying these fucking bubblegum rings need four interest free payments to cough up 275 bucks. I can fucking literally Hitler right now wipe my ass with three $100 bills if I needed to do so. And these alphas don't have 300 fucking bucks to buy this cheap fucking ring. Is this website real or is this satire? I can't tell. I call this the warrior ring because I am a homosexual. I mean, I'm, I call this the warrior ring because it makes a bold statement and might stimulate comments and conversation. Seriously, guy, let me look again. Look, if you saw a guy wearing this ring, would that stimulate a conversation for you? This is a real question. Now, like if I saw a man wearing a West Point ring, okay, that's, oh, you went to West Point. Oh, when? So, oh, you serve? What? what what rank did you retire as? A oh, general. Yeah. If I saw a man wearing a Super Bowl ring, what Super Bowl were you in? 
Did, did you did you have any spectacular moment? You caught a touchdown pass. No shit in the Super Bowl. Fucking a. I know a lot of it's a sports ball. Well, I mean, you ain't never been in a Super Bowl. But if I see a guy wearing that, I, I'm not even going to notice that. Stimulate conversation. Jesus Christ. Again, it's like a, a, a man walked up and told me to smile. Oh, yeah. Makes a bold statement. The wearer of this ring is not afraid to be seen and not afraid to stand up and say what he believes. That that we've got two misspelled words in a row there. <clears throat> Fix your spelling guy. Come on, spell checker. Spell checker. The other things where you spell, where you just use tail instead of tail, I can understand. The spell checker didn't pick that up. D- spell checker. Mainly, this ring says that my life belongs to me and I will not subjugate my life. Yes, you will. You will fucking subjugate your life to the government, to the banks, to the corporations. You will subjugate your life on a regular fucking basis. Stop living in a goddamn fantasy world because you can't stop being stupid until you know you're stupid. And you can't stop being a slave until you know you're a slave. I am my own man and nobody will own me. The government owns you. You're welcome. The ring is full of imagery. No, it's not. The ring is fucking boring and uninteresting. The eye is first drawn to the black stone. No, it's not. Then upon looking at the ring, you notice the five letters that surround and support the stone. Okay, so I was looking at this. I was trying to figure out, can any of you guys tell what that is around it? I mean, does that, seriously, does that look like anything to you? I don't see a pattern. He claims these are letters. What letters? I don't see any letters. What are you talking about? I don't see I don't see any letters. I see squiggles. These are the five letters that define your life philosophy. How do you know what my life philosophy is? You are going your own way in life. You are taking the path less traveled, and this is making all the difference. What is he talking about? What 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 are these letters supposed to be? Is that that's is that a G or a six? Is that a T? And what what is, what is he talking about? My God, two hundred four fucking payments. Good God. Let's look at the clarity of mind. Warrior ring. Uh, that is way overexposed. That is a fucking terrible photo. Hey, I mean it's blurry as shit. Come on, man. Fucking God. This, this hurts. Oh my God, this hurts. All right, li- li- okay, in this picture, I can at least see some fucking detail. Oh! See? All right, I got it now. But, hey, we finally got a picture on here that is sufficiently non-shitty that I can actually see what he's talking about. M G T O. And that's a W, men going their own way. I can finally see it. $295. I have to give thanks to our brother Najira for this ring. He told me that becoming red-pilled, now red-pilled has a hyphen. How many different ways can we write the word red-pilled? Red pill one word, red pill two words, red pill hyphenated, red pill capitalized, red pill not capitalized, red capitalized but pill not capitalized. 
Do I sound like your nitpicky English teacher? Well, I need to because apparently you didn't pay any attention to your nitpicky English teacher. Once again, if you're just writing shit on your fucking personal blog about Supergirl comic books or some shit, who gives a fuck? Well, you're trying to... You want $295 of money from people who need to pay it in four fucking payments? You can at least fucking spell the words right for their benefit. Right? Trying to make it look at least somewhat perfect. Then again... Anyone who would buy this shit is obviously a fucking moron. He told me that becoming red-pilled gave him a clarity of thought and a new, brighter outlook and joy in life. He wanted a ring to reflect his new, brighter outlook on life. That's repetitive. And one that would shine to the world. We decided... We decided that with a crystal clear mind, he should have a crystal, he should have a clear crystal on his hand. The, that should be a capital T, there's a period right there, this is a new sentence. The result is a stunning, the result is a stunning that makes a powerful statement. The result is a stunning, guys, this is a stunning, and it makes a powerful statement. Niraj wears this ring as a ring of power on his index finger to increase the intensity of his statement. It also probably increases the intensity of his homosexual partner's orgasms when he's fingering him in the asshole with this ring on. The stone is a high-quality cubic zirconium. If you'd like a natural, artificially grown supply pricing, rings may you say, sure they are. Some brothers have asked, yes, Feel free to contact me for monthly payments if you can't cough up $300. Because like most Americans, you don't have $400 for an emergency because you spend more money than you make. Because just like a woman, you have no impulse control. Let's check out these Red Pride polo shirts. This looks exciting. I want to show my Red Pride the red pill, right now we're back to red pill is a single word. The red pill pride polo shirts are designed to be acceptable in any situation where business casual is accepted. This would include, we have to explain to these high value men what business casual is. This would include business offices, retail establishments, or even court. Yes, when you're in the courtroom, De defending yourself against your ex-wife who's trying to take everything away from you. And that is really not a very interesting looking logo to, in my estimation. Port Authority. <laughs> you get these at fucking Walmart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this, this photography. Oh my God, this photography is fucking burning my eyeballs out. Oh my God, that's terrible. Okay, I can't look at that anymore. <sighs> to the average person, the Red Pill logo will appear to be just another designer emblem, which it is, but by wearing it, you are saying, quote, my life has intrinsic value and you're not getting my stuff, unquote. This guy who got divorce raped sure is obsessed with other people not getting his stuff. No, your ex-wife got your stuff. The government gets your stuff. Israel is getting your stuff. Ukraine is getting your stuff. Your stuff is being converted into missiles and being used to blow up Muslims in foreign countries while they attend weddings, okay? There's a whole bunch of other people getting your stuff. We don't need to read the rest of the stuff about the shirts come in different colors. Yeah, we got it. We understand. All right, brotherhood ring. There's a lot of use of the word brother also. That's that's a little concerning. Well, that's almost a good picture. I don't know why we cut the top and the bottom of the ring off. That's almost a good picture. 
Oh, here's here's Mr. Alpha again. Yo, dog, tick tock, tick tock, motherfucker, tick tock. Oh, look, we took a we took a blurry cell phone photo photo with someone else's Porsche. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, oh my god. We could get four payments to come up with $75. $75. These high value alphas can't come up with $75. These rings are made of solid and pure silver. The ring is designed to be a subtle statement. Oh, that here we go again. My life has intrinsic value and no one is taking my stuff. I call it the Brotherhood Ring because the wearer is acknowledging that he is part of an international brotherhood of men who will not submit to abuse. I'm submitting to abuse right now reading this website. It has a simple and elegant design that that quos qu 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 quote what is that word? I know it's supposed to be goes, but goes doesn't start with a Q. Equally well with any level of dress from t-shirt and shorts to full business form of the wow. You can order a bold or subtle look, the dark lines and the bold look, blah blah blah. blah. Okay, we're good on that one. This is fucking hilarious. Let's check check out the Red Pill Warrior ring. Oh yeah, I've got, we gotta look at the. I, I gotta I gotta suffer through the pictures. Ooh, look at me! I'm smoking a cigar. Oh, that is fucking great photography, mate. Fucking fantastic. So again, it's almost a good picture. I don't know why he cut everything off. Imitation ruby, you can update to a real ruby for 90 bucks. Right, these guys can't afford $275. We're really going to get an additional 90 bucks. Oh, no, no, it's not a, a real garnet. What's a garnet? I don't know what a garnet is. The real garnet is the darker ring. So here, real garnet is capitalized. Here, real garnet is not capitalized. Is real garnet a proper noun? Or do you just not understand capitalization? I call this the warrior ring because it makes a bold statement. Once again, the bold statements, the strong and independent. Does this not sound exactly... And again, does this not sound exactly like how you market to women? Just to, everything is strength and independence. Everything is a bold, it's a bold statement. My life has value. You're strong and independent. Your life has value. I am important. I spend my money on me. No, you spend your money dropping bombs on countries in the Middle East and sending weapon systems to the Ukraine and subsidizing single mothers. That is what you are spending your money on. Just because you're not smart enough to know you're spending your money on that doesn't mean you're not spending your money on that. From the dawn of civilization, warriors wore beautiful rings to celebrate the strength and power of their hands. A warrior ring is a beautiful, bold, masculine design that makes a strong statement. Women are strong and independent, and these rings are making a lot of strong statements. The warrior ring celebrates a man's strength and is full of imagery. No, it's not. When a person first looks at the ring, he sees the red stone. This is the red pill. Now it's one word again that wakes a man up the value. This is this is the red pill that wakes a man up the value of his own self-worth. 
As he looks further, he sees the letters which indicate that he is going his own way and lives his life on his own terms, but he still obeys all the laws, pays all the taxes, shows his Wuhan Vax identity card when told to do so, and puts a piece of cloth on his face when required. But other than that, he's living his life on his own terms. He demands respect, but also respecting the rights of others. Rights don't exist. There's no such thing. This ring celebrates a man's strength. Oh, God, how many times can we use the word strength and ability to go his own way in life? Oh, man. All right, let's go back to the shop. Pride. Let's look at the pride. Does it have a rainbow? pride ring it's almost a good picture i mean you could have done something about that smudge right there you also got a little little something on the ring right there and a little something right there too. well then no, no, that's that's kind of tell you it says might be all right two rings on one finger he's doubly gay oh look we're taking another picture with somebody's car it's not our car This ring is designed to give a subtle and elegant display of pride. Pride is capitalized, like the way homosexuals capitalize pride. Display of pride and brotherhood. To the average person, this will appear to be just an elegant piece of jewelry, but it will identify the wearer as a man who appreciates the intrinsic value of his own life and uses his resources for dropping bombs on foreign countries and his own enjoyment and subsidizing Israel. The ring can be a conversation starter, an invitation to drop bits of red pill wisdom that a man's life has value. $800. Oh, this is $800? God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. $800 for that? Uh, no. Uh-uh. Cha, you know what? Uh-uh. $1,850. Oh, my God. Hey, look, this one doesn't have a payment plan available. <laughs> I don't know how many of these he sold. Oh, oh, there, there you go. That is a fucking fantastic photograph of the ring. Well done. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Fucking shit. Dude, th come on, mate. Find someone who doesn't have pitch black fucking knuckle hairs. The name King comes from the reaction wearers have received. Oh, are we going back into this fantasy land where people comment to you on your jewelry, which has never happened to you ever? I have never in my life commented to a man about his jewelry. To women? Yes. I will notice a woman's jewelry and comment about the jewelry to her and ask her about it because I'm trying to have sex with her. And that's a conversation starter. Several brothers who purchased this ring told me that people who saw them wearing the ring commented that it looked like a ring that an ancient king would wear. No, that did not happen. Not on, that's right up there with a man told me to smile. Okay. No, no one has ever looked at a ring. Wow, that ring looks like a ring that an ancient king would wear. 
We live in a nation of fucking halfwits who are barely even aware that last week existed. Their knowledge of anything to do with ancient kings is non-existent. And anyone who knows enough about history to know that ancient kings existed is not going to be gay enough to say something like that. You can get different stones for different prices. Last one. We're almost out of here. How long has this been going? Hour, 13 minutes. Defiance ring. That is a terrible, terrible photograph. Uh, the, the ring should be a little further down on your finger, I think. Oh, my God. So, are these really the hand? Like, are these the hands of customers? Like, once again, it's about a man's hands show his strength. Like, does this look like the hand of somebody you want to hang out with? As a man. Here we go again. The defiance ring, civilized refusal to live his life. This has no value. Bronze, the oh, the Bronze Age, beginning of civilization. Yada yada yada. Here we go again with the lives have intrinsic value and they don't live to serve others, says the guy who always pays his income tax and his alimony on time. Bid defiance to anyone who says his life has no value. Bronze comes with a risk. Sometimes, oh my God, we're going to die. Some actually like that this... If, what? Some skin types react to the metal. It could cause a greenish tint to the skin where it's worn. Some actually like that this effect. Some actually like that this effect as it symbolizes society's a, 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 a pimps, I don't know what that word is, to shame a man back into believing that his life is without value. Like the shaming words, the greenish tint might look bad but it is actually harmless. Redpillring.com, guys. I Okay. Is this real or is this satire? What do you think? I should do a poll on the website to find out what you guys think. Is this real? Or is this like something I would do, red pill do-rags? And is this guy like making fun of all of this? See, I can't tell. Is he making fun of the grifting of my red pill movement? Or is he grifting? 